A very busy Sunday kicked off right here at the Ethan Allen Firing Range in Jericho for the North American Roller Ski Biathlon Championships. A picture perfect summer morning to start, but right as the men's mass start began, the sun crept out from behind the clouds, making the heat a bit of a factor. The men's race up first with some changes up front on the first few trips around the course. Leading the pack first, donning the number one bib, Maxime Germain as the first wave reaches the range. But up off the mats first is Vaclav Cervenka in the five bib, and he takes the lead. Next time to the range, it's Sean Doherty emerging just ahead of Cervenka and the rest of the pack. Next lap around, Doherty and Vincent Bonacci in front as they stand and shoot. Bonacci off first, but late in the loop, Doherty takes the lead and it grows into a big one. A perfect five for five on his final trip to the range, creating a big enough gap for him to comfortably cross the line first, 33 seconds ahead of Germain in second. It feels good. It feels good. It was really fun um, to put a really solid race together and I really enjoyed having some opportunities to go head to head with my other teammates and um, it's 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 fun. It's a nice sign, you know, to, to here in August after a hard summer's training is, is been we've been doing a lot of work. So it's good to see that, that things are going in a, in a good direction. The women's mass start up next. Slightly less drama in this one thanks to a dominant performance from the eventual winner. A huge group gets to the range on the first loop. It's Deidre Irwin, the first up. Right behind her are Shiloh Russo and Kelsey Dickinson. Dickinson hitting all five shots, so no penalty loop for her. She's able to build a nice lead on a sunny Sunday as a result. Next lap, she's perfect again, and then again, and then again. A flawless 20 for 20 on her shooting and a celebratory fist pump that she more than earned. Now all she has to do is finish the race cleanly, and she sure does. Kelsey Dickinson of Craftsbury Green Racing Project taking first place, just over a minute before Irwin in second, who bounced back nicely from a DQ on Saturday. For me, this is a, it's a major step to go 20 for 20 in a race and to hit all those shots, and it really shows the level that I'm at right now. You know, we're still in the training season. We still have a long time until we start racing on snow in November. So I think this, these races are all about checking in with yourself, seeing, you know, where things are going well, where you still need to improve, um, and then start preparing now for the World Cup season ahead. Yesterday was just, again, a little bit of a brain fart. Uh, I know the courses here. I've done this a million times, but sometimes you just go out and you get into the zone and then you go the wrong way and that's what I did yesterday so yesterday I also had a really really strong race I skied really well I shot really well and uh, I was a little bummed to get disqualified but you know starting in the back of the pack was kind of fun today and it was uh, it was cool to move my way to the front it felt more like a World Cup like what I do in Europe when I'm starting in you know number 30 in the mass start so I had a really fun time the first lap just kind of skiing alongside all of my um, US teammates and kind of making my way through so it was a good day for me, even though, you know, I had to kind of crawl my way back to the front. 